Hello everyone, I'm Sandra Rijn and in this video we will show you how it is to work after studying at Wageningen University and Research. Buur alumna Marije Broekhuizen finished international development studies in 2007 at Buur. And in these days she's working for UNICEF in India. Since she's also living in India, we've asked her to make a video by herself showing us everything about her job and projects she's been working on. So let's have a look at what she's been doing. Hi, my name is Maraya Bruckhuizen. I'm a water sanitation and hygiene specialist with UNICEF India. And today I'm going to the office. Welcome to my office. So normally I'm working from home, but today I'm here in the office because I had to go for a meeting. So usually my working day consists of uh, checking my emails, having meetings. It's been mostly online since COVID, but uh, sometimes I get to go to face-to-face -face meetings as well. Um, we work closely with the government, uh, with the NGOs, private sector. Uh, so we get to interact with a lot of different people. At the moment, we're developing our next five-year program and I'm focusing on water and sanitation, but also on climate change. And I think this is a very interesting opportunity right now. When I started my career, uh, I actually worked on uh, disaster studies and climate change, climate change adaptation. Then I slowly moved to wash water and sanitation. And now I get to combine the two uh, and working closely with all the teams uh, within UNICEF in India and integrating climate change into their programming. So for water, that would mean uh, we have to look at areas that are drought prone and making sure that the water sources that are constructed there uh, are sustainable and there's water available throughout the year. Uh, and if I work with our education colleagues, it means that uh, we can build in climate change into the uh, uh, educational curriculum. When I look at health, we make sure that the cold chain uh, is uh, sustainable and is using renewable energy. The thing that motivated me studying in Wageningen was the diversity of the program, the opportunity to do different courses, with different backgrounds, but also interacting with different uh, students, Dutch students, international students that brought a lot of professional experience into the classroom. I started my career in disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. I worked with NGOs in the Netherlands and in the Philippines, and then I moved into water sanitation and hygiene. Uh, I started working with UNICEF nine years ago, first in Ethiopia, South Sudan and Yemen, and most recently uh, the last three and a half years in India. So in India, UNICEF works closely with the government uh, on uh, providing water and sanitation uh, to all households in India. It's a huge task and UNICEF works very closely with the government to accomplish this. One of the things that I focus on right now is how can we integrate climate change and environmental sustainability into our programs, both in the UNICEF programs, but also in government programs. For example, if you construct a toilet, can the toilet be resilient to floods? Uh, if you construct water supply in a drought prone area, can we ensure that there is water available throughout the year? What I like the most about my job is that we have a seat at the table at national level with the government, with other UN agencies and larger NGOs where at the same time we can also travel to the field and meet the community that benefits from a water supply scheme or uh, a toilet. So we can bring the voice from those communities back to the seat uh, at national level and help integrate uh, the, what, what is needed at national level in national policies and plans and make sure that those who need uh, the support the most will also get it. Whenever I travel to the field and I meet people and they show me their toilet with so much pride, just like the boy here behind me on that picture, um, it motivates me to continue my work. Um, because seeing people so happy and so proud of a toilet because they didn't have a toilet before, I think that's wonderful. If you're also interested to travel the world, meet new people, learn about different cultures and help people accessing basic social services such as a toilet, um, then I would say, why don't you go and study international development at Wageningen University and Research Center? Well, I've really enjoyed listening to Marije's stories and I hope you have too. And I think we've learned a lot today about the work that she's been doing and how studying at Wuhr has prepared her for doing these tasks. If you would like to see more of these videos, you can subscribe to Wuhr And of course, don't forget to put thumbs up.